Margaret Park Smith, and I teach ceramics, 3D design, sculpture, and creativity. I'm Josh Smith. I teach uh, graphic design, printmaking, and contemporary art. I explored a lot of different majors um, and ultimately decided to be an art major because I felt like it would be incredibly challenging, it would cause me to grow. But then ceramics was something I could envision being um, very useful for like, I don't know, economic development. But I think the bottom line is I just really love the material. I love the mix of, um, there's a science element to it, there's a pro heavy process element to it. It, was, it started more with graphic design, printmaking kind of in general, but it was also photography. A lot of it was because I grew up skateboarding and listening to music, and so the graphics on the board, the posters, the album covers, it all gets you into like reading the magazines, you see the layout. And then when we got together, we thought of Dovetail because I was doing printmaking and graphic design and she was making these things and everyone we were friends with were making t-shirts and stuff. And so <clears throat> we had the idea like, let's dovetail mine and yours and make, put it on clay. And that's not as many people were doing that back then. So it's gone through a lot of different iterations, but the core of it's always been um, porcelain, dishes, vessels, um, with graphic and printed images. Typically really bold images, um, that's something we've both been drawn to. Unusual images. We wanted those more like clean. Almost like a yeah. a design choice, like to put graphics on clean white surface. It's like a t-shirt. Well, yeah, there's this a fine line between um, having an enterprise that you feel like is successful and you're doing what you want to do, and you're you're um, and then it quickly can become that you're making the donut, so to speak. You're just with companies that big, they're like making huge orders, and so it like it's fun when you're like coming up with new ideas and making new stuff. But then as soon as you're just like fulfilling these giant orders, it just like you have no time to. By the time you're you're done for the day, you're just like I'm so worn out. I don't want to think about anything else. And that's not a way to do it. If we could work together all the time, we probably would. But with increasing number of responsibilities. <laughs> Um, it's more often that we're working separately, but there are definitely times we come together that are like, okay, we need to have a meeting of the minds and what's next and where are we at and um, strategically.